Today for our mini message, we're back in Genesis 27, and we're going to look at a section of Scripture starting with verse 18, and the deception and lies continue. This is not a happy chapter in the Bible. Verse 18, So Jacob took the food to his father. My father, he said, Yes, my son Isaac answered, Who are you, Esau or Jacob? Jacob replied, It's Esau, your firstborn son. Outright lied to his father. I've done as you told me. Here's the wild game. Now sit up and eat it so you can give me your blessing. Isaac asked, How did you find it so quickly, my son? The Lord your God put in my path, Jacob replied. Lying again. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Come closer so I can touch you and make sure that you are really Esau. So Jacob went closer to his father and Isaac touched him. The voice is Jacob, but the hands are Esau's, Isaac said. But he did not recognize Jacob because Jacob felt hairy just like Esau. So I was prepared to bless Jacob. But are you really my son Esau, he asked. Yes, I am, Jacob replied. Then Isaac said, Now my son, bring me the wild game. Let me eat it, and then I will give you my blessing. So Jacob took the food to his father, and Isaac ate it. He also drank the wine that Jacob served. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Please come a little closer and kiss me, my son. So Jacob went over to kiss him. And when Isaac caught the smell of his clothes, he was finally convinced, and he blessed his son. He said, Ah, the smell of my son is like the smell of the outdoors, which the Lord has blessed. Look, there's sometimes when it's hard to discern a lie, This is just an outright lie. There was no middle ground on this. There was no doubt. There was no... This isn't, as some people call it, a little white lie. This is just outright deception of a blind guy, okay? Now, remember, the blind guy himself has been deceptive. Esau's been deceptive. Jacob said uh, Esau's mother and Isaac's wife, Rebecca, she's been deceptive, and now Jacob's being deceptive. No good guys, right? There's no good guys in this. So, you know, sometimes there's TV shows out there that you watch sometimes or a movie. There's no good guys. This is a chapter of the Bible, no good guys. All bad guys here. So Jacob did not hesitate to even bring God into this. When he says, the Lord your God put the animals in front of me, I was able to kill them so quickly. Invoking God in his life. I mean, how much further we're going to go here, guys? So Jacob did this because he was only concerned about what would work. He didn't care about truth. He didn't care about honor. He didn't care about his relationship with God. He didn't care about honoring the truth. Nothing. He just wanted what he wanted because he knew it would be good to get it. He was in pursuit of something he desired. And we can't allow ourselves to go down that same kind of road. That just because we desire something, we'll break every rule, we'll throw out God's law, we'll throw out right and wrong to get where we want to get. We need to be people with character. We as Christians are called to be people with character, to handle things well, and to that means sometimes go down the hard road. You guys be good. We'll see you again with another mini message.